Hi guys, I'm Steph. Thank you so much for checking out my channel today. I wanted to share with you the reasons why I didn't shop the Sephora VIB appreciation sale that happened at the end of August, beginning of September. Before I get into the video, if you would quickly scroll down and hit that red subscribe button, I would appreciate it so much. So the first reason I didn't shop the sale was that I just financially wasn't expecting it. I'm used to the Sephora sales happening in spring and April and later into fall, like October, November, I think is when the other sale usually is. So I just wasn't prepared for it. I was going on a trip to Europe, so I was saving up my money for that. And even though the sale was still going on after I came back from my trip, I knew I had just spent so much money on like hostels and traveling and like food and all that type of stuff that I just didn't feel like I was in a financial position to be putting more money into makeup at this current time. That's not saying like if I really wanted something I couldn't have afforded it because it definitely was within my budget but I just felt like I had so much money going out and I had enjoyed all these experiences I just had that I didn't like putting that money into makeup at that time just didn't seem worth it. Second reason why was just taking kind of like a mental inventory of my collection. There really wasn't anything that I needed even when I was traveling in Europe and I was in the presence of like all these brands that I can't usually get here in Canada, I didn't even really end up picking anything up. I only picked up two makeup products, a Makeup Revolution concealer that I'd been hearing about forever, and an eyeshadow palette. The colors just really drew me in. But even when I was there and with all these things that I don't even normally have access to, I knew I really shouldn't be buying anything because there wasn't really any gapes in my collection and I really do have a lot of makeup products at this time. I wasn't even really into makeup until a few years ago. but after being exposed to YouTube and joining YouTube as a creator, I just really have accumulated so much that there's not really anything in my collection that I need. But just because you don't need something doesn't mean you don't want something. The third reason why I didn't pick up anything during the sale was because there wasn't actually anything I was longing for. Yes, I'm aware I don't need anything, but when has that ever stopped any of us from buying makeup? Because once you see something, if it draws you in and you want it, if you have the budget for it and it's not impeding on your life to purchase it, I don't see why you can't pick up things you want just because you don't need them. But that being said, there wasn't anything that I was really longing for. There wasn't anything that had come out recently that I really wanted or anything that I just like really had my eye on and was like really waiting to pick up. So I wasn't going to spend money on makeup just because it was a sale because in the end you're still spending money. Even if you're getting a discount, if you weren't going to put that money out anyways, like you're just putting less money out but you're still spending your money and if there's nothing that I want and there's nothing that I need then why would I just pick something up for the sake of picking it up? So like I kind of alluded to before I have a lot of makeup so the fourth reason why I didn't really pick anything up is just because I realized how much makeup I really have and this is the first year I started project panning in case you're interested in those videos I'll like link my finish 18 and 2018 down below but the, I've done a few projects and I realized like how long it really takes for me to use up some products, especially blush. I have a blush going in that project that like I just cannot kill. It started with pan in it and I still have it at the end of the year and I wear it like every single day. Anyway, that's not really what this video is about, but I've just, since panning and looking at my collection and realizing how much I have and realizing how long it takes to go through things, I realized that I just have an excess amount of makeup. And in terms of that, like I have drawers here. They're not all filled with makeup, but a few of them are. And just, this is kind of like what I consider my collection. And even there, there's a lot of makeup. But I have this whole other box of stuff. I'm going to grab it very quickly. I, you can't, this doesn't even fit on camera. This whole box of stuff, like bigger than my face, as you can tell. And that is just filled with products that I haven't hauled yet. And it seems so ridiculous. Some of the products in that bin I've had for like over a year. And I just haven't even opened them yet or used them because I hadn't hauled them on my channel. I had this whole notion that like I can't start using a product until I show it to you guys in a haul. And then I have to use it and then I have to review it. And it's silly because I spent money on these products. I really wanted them at the time that I bought them. And I haven't even touched them. And like I said, some of them have been sitting there for over a year. And it's just utterly ridiculous that I have done that to myself because I put the money out and now I'm not even enjoying the product all because I wanted to make sure I filmed a haul for YouTube which is just a hobby so I feel like I've kind of 
dived in a little bit with makeup and having the sale come up unexpectedly and kind of like evaluating my makeup collection has made me kind of realize I need to take a bit of a step back from being such a consumer and that doesn't mean that I won't be purchased anything ever again or that type of thing but I just really want to think more before just buying for the sake of buying or buying because it's on sale that type of thing so this the sale made me to kind of take a step back and even though I bought two products at the end of August I haven't purchased any makeup or cosmetics or skincare or anything like that since and I'm really happy about that because like I said I have more than enough I still have this huge bin this is just makeup I still have a lot more skincare in my collection too so I definitely have pretty much backups of everything that I need and I don't feel the need right now to purchase anything unless I completely use up a category in my collection or if there's something that really speaks to me and it's that I want. Not just it's hyped up on YouTube for a bit or it's hyped up in the community for a bit so I feel like I need it but something that like weeks and weeks and weeks like for like more than a few months really that I think about a product and how I really want it in my collection and make sure that I don't have anything in my collection that I could use as a substitute. So basically I'm thinking more in terms of like lipsticks or like color cosmetics. If I have an eyeshadow palette that looks beautiful in the store and I really want to purchase it but I can dupe those shadows in my collection, is there really a point in picking up that product? So I definitely want to become more critical of my consumerism going forward because I'm definitely a consumer and I don't think I'm going to stop purchasing things. I just want to be more mindful of what I purchase and what I bring in my collection. And that being said, like makeup does expire so I definitely want to be more on the ball about using up products and like I've been project painting this year and it really has taught me a lot. I can do another video on that in case you're interested. But basically I just wanted to share with you guys why I didn't shop the sale. And this week it's kind of made me realize like I need to change my mindset so I'm going to be posting a video on that huge bin I just showed you. I'm going to do a collective haul of all these products I have but I just haven't used so then I feel like I've gotten that huge haul video out of the way and I can start utilizing them and actually surveying my collection and also coming to these realizations has made me take an inventory of my makeup products as well as like my other skincare, body care, hair care, fragrances, that type of inventory as well. So I want to share with you my inventory numbers. So that's what my next two videos are going to be on. So if that type of stuff interests you, then make sure you subscribe so you can see those videos when they go live. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.